What's going on everybody? This is More Power here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day and today what I got for you guys is um, a different video. Um, I don't really do many of these type of videos. Actually, I think this is probably the first one I've ever done and um, this is just something uh, that I've been stewing on for the last couple of days and it's um, some guns that I feel like Treyarch should institute in Black or bring to Black Ops 3 via supply drops that were in Call of Duty World at War. And you're probably sitting there thinking, more power, why are you wanting more World at War guns in Black Ops 3? Well, they just added two new weapons into Black Ops 3, the M1911 and the AK-74U, which the AK-74U has been rumored for weeks to be coming into Black Ops 3, and it finally made its appearance this past Tuesday in Supply Drops. So, I got to thinking, you know, there's still some time between now and November when uh, when Call of Duty World War II comes out, and Sledgehammer Games has actually had a really good idea for Advanced Warfare. They are doing one Supply Drop weapon from the that would be in World War II uh, that you can use to get yourself acclimated to the type of weaponry that you'll be using in World War II. And I got to thinking, well, why not Treyarch? They're supporting a Call of Duty that has supply drops that can bring in, that they've been bringing in classic weapons. So I got to thinking of the top, or some of uh, four weapons that I think should come via supply drops. Uh, that could be in World War II or we're in World at War. So let's start out with we're going to do one from each category um, and take into mind we already have a we already have some guns from World at War. We have the PPSH and we have the HG40 um, or well it was the MP40 back in uh, World at War. But here are four more guns that I think should be coming to Black Ops 3 from World at War. And uh, these are three primary guns and one secondary gun. So number one will be the Thompson SMG. I think this gun is fabulous. It has a 30 round magazine. Uh, the fire rate is 600 to 1200 rounds per minute. And it is a 45 caliber gun. Um, and I think this gun would work great in the multiplayer aspect, you can also bring it into zombies, but more more so into multiplayer. That um, it was just give another dynamic to the submachine gun class. Now the next gun we're going to talk about is the STG assault rifle. Now this is a, a 7.92 by 33 millimeter uh, assault rifle. It's um it's gas operated, so it's something unique that come to Black Ops 3 from. A legendary Call of Duty game um, you know it doesn't weigh that much it's only 9.7 pounds it also has a 30 round magazine but the fire rate is a little bit slower it's more of the five to six hundred rounds per minute um, and I think that it would you know it would just be something unique that um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 because we need something new, we need something different, and a gas-operated uh, tilting bolt assault rifle would be fantastic to go alongside the MX Garand, which is also a weapon from Call of Duty World at War. Um, and then the next one is for you sniper fans is going to be the PTRS-41 sniper rifle. It is a 14.5 by 114 millimeter bolt action sniper rifle. This one actually is um it only weighs nine pounds so it's lighter than the thompson and it's lighter than the uh scg the thompson weighs 10 pounds i didn't mention that earlier uh so it's lighter the three primary weapons and uh, it's a five round stripper clip magazine and it has a maximum range of 800 meters which is you know it, that's great for most of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 maps because they're they're a lot longer because of the movement system it's a little bit faster so you have to have more room to to grow and stuff like that so I think that this sniper it's another bolt action which bolt action snipers are the best snipers sometimes uh, and I think that it would be a great addition to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 to get us ready for um, 
to get us ready for World War II and just to show us what it's like to shoot with these guns because we haven't used guns like this since World at War. And to be honest, there's new Call of Duty fans that weren't around for World at War like myself um, that that we could use the the knowledge and the you know the hands-on ability to use these weapons before World at War comes out. And then the last gun we're going to talk about is a pistol. It's going to be the 357 Magnum. Now I know Modern Warfare Remastered just added a Magnum, uh, but the 357 Magnum. It's a 19 millimeter Parabellum uh, caliber. It's a revolver, which is fantastic. It's just it's just old school classic weaponry, and it has six rounds, which all most all revolvers only have six rounds. But these 357s are monstrous. I've actually gotten to hold one um, in real life. Um, I have some family members that have had them. I've seen them being shot. I've actually shot one before out at a range. And these things are pretty, pretty nasty in the respect that they're powerful. Um, but that's going to do it for the video. I know it's a short video, uh, but I just wanted to, you know, shed some light. Because I don't know very many people who are talking about this that we could see these weapons be in July, August, or September contraband that we could see in Black Ops 3. And I think this would be a great idea for Treyarch. Um, I know they're not going to see this video, but I'm going to reach out to some people to see if we can bring this, this topic to life. And I think Treyarch should go into making these guns and bringing these guns into Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And it will it will help the longevity of World War II. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comment section, are there any other guns that you think from World at War that should come into Black Ops 3? Leave those in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. I enjoy making content for you guys. I know I haven't done it in a while, but I'm back on the grind to making videos for you guys. Um, and we're on the road to 100 subscribers. We're only 30 away. And uh, I just want I thank you for all being a part of that. And uh, you know what, guys? I'll catch you all in the next video.